here with Yusu Chen. She's application support specialist for the Zeta Sizer family. And um, I know that the Zeta Sizer has been used in many academic studies and been, well, cited thousands and thousands of times and is considered the workhorse for academic researchers. Why? So um, there are many different reasons. So one of them is that the reliability of the size instrument that with the the seed size advanced range is actually built on the success of our seed size and nano range, which was a previous model. And it's well loved by academics worldwide because it's easy to use, get um, reliable data. Um, and so we've made it better with mm -hmm. new in, in advancements in the technology. So in the seed size advanced range, we have now different models. Mm -hmm. um, so we have seed size lab, seed size pro, and seed size ultra. So depending on your application, it covers a wide range of applications for the academic industry. So it's very much a very versatile instrument for the academic community. So they all look the same, but they're different under the hood, right? Yes, correct. So they all look the same from the outside, but there's actually quite a lot of clever design, optic design going actually underneath the covers, which gives them different type of measurements they can obtain, depends on what measurement angle that you are measuring. Okay. Can you explain in brief the differences between the options? Yeah, sure. So we have complete six models. They're based on seed size lab. Pro and Ultra, the different is a measurement angle. Mm -hmm. So with the seed size of the lab, we have a classic um, 90 degree size scatter with particle um, seed potential analysis. Mm -hmm. With the seed size of Pro, we have your bat scatter angle, which incorporates a non-invasive bat scatter um, optic design. And we also have the Mat Ultra, which is based on the latest new measurement type, which is multi-angle dynamic light scattering, or MADLS for short. So it measures at the back side and forward angle, and as that gives you new measurement capabilities, such as high resolution particle sizing data, as well as particle concentration. And within the Lab Pro and Ultra, they come available in two color variants, the, the red label or blue label variant. And the choice of model will very much depend on the customer's particular application and requirements. Okay, so I understand that there's a blue label and a red label. Can you tell the differences between them? Yeah, sure. So the red label and the blue label different is based on the laser power. The blue label is a 4 milliwatt laser and that is suitable for a wide range of different applications. So like your standard nanoparticles applications, whereas your red model has a 10 milliwatt, a higher, more powerful laser, which is more suitable for um, samples such as biosciences, so like proteins and viruses applications where high laser power or higher sensitivity is required. Okay. Would you say there's a Zeta size for everyone? I would say so, definitely, yeah. We have a range of different models and suitable for a wide range of different applications. Okay. Well, thank you, Yusu, for this introduction.